Hey y'all, thanks for stopping by. So it's another Men's Help Monday. So today we're going to talk about grooming yourself, you know, your hair, your beard, your body, that kind of thing. A lot of the guys who I talk to don't seem to understand how important that is, not only in how it's going to make you feel about yourself, but the perceptions that people make of you. You know, those first impressions matter a lot and they're hard to get rid of. And you're right, you shouldn't judge people based on how they look, but we kind of all do that. And it can be a good thing, it can be a bad thing, but knowing that people are going to judge you based on how you look, you can keep in mind that it is important how you present yourself to the world. And I guess to start with the top, with your hair, there's no real good answer as to how you should cut your hair. If you're looking for that, I'm sorry, but, you know, if you couldn't tell by my everything, I'm not a very fashionable person. When it comes to your hair, go to a, go to a barber first, you know, go to a salon, something like that, and it's probably going to be a little pricey at first, but yeah, go in with a lot for them to work with, and then when they ask, how do you want your hair cut? You say, work with my face, because that's, a good way to look at haircuts, you know, your face is the painting, your hair is the frame, and frames make a paint, can make or break a painting, you know, some of us get kind of unlucky, you know, I started losing my hair when I was getting out of high school, and that's when I started shaving it down, what's funny about that is after I started shaving it down, I didn't like it at first, but after a while, I started to realize how much better I look with a shaved head than with long hair. I mean, when I say long hair, it was like down my back. Long, long hair. But I like how I look with a shaved head. I think it makes my face look better. Obviously, like, I'm a couple days behind. I need to shave the sides, but, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you get lucky, and, like, genetics pushes you down the path of how you should cut your hair, but for a lot of us, you got to take a little bit of effort. You know, you got to have it done by somebody and then after you get it cut style it like actually spend some time and comb your hair and put some product in it whatever you got to do to keep it looking the way you want it but yeah spend that little bit of extra time and actually do your hair in the morning it doesn't take long i promise just set your alarm a little bit earlier and you'll be fine uh, moving a little bit further down with your beard that's another weird one where it's there's no real good answer as to how you should cut your beard, how you should style it. Some guys can grow facial hair and some guys can't. Work with what you have, you know. You don't need to have facial hair to look attractive. It can help some people. It can hurt some people, you know. Depending on how you have it styled, that could be a turnoff for some people. But that's okay. Some people don't like how you look. That's fine. At the end of the day, when it comes to the top part of how you look, I would say it's mostly about you. What do you like? What are you comfortable with? How much effort are you willing to put into your style? Again, there's no easy answer for this. It's all up to the user. If you want to do something really elaborate, Go for it. If you don't, that's fine too. But understand that there is going to be some perception there. You know, people are going to judge you based on how you look. There's no way around that. Now, we're done with the top half, so let's move further down. When it comes to your body and grooming yourself, you don't need to shave all the way down. I know some people think when it comes to shaving your body, they always think it's with a flat razor. You don't need to do that, but you do need to cut your hair. You know, trim it down some. Trust me. Just, just go on ahead and do it. The way that I have been told and the way that I'm going to tell you now is when it comes to your, you know, when it comes to your bits, would you, would you want to put something like that near your face if it was covered in that much hair? Like if you were the person you were going out with? Really think about that, and it might help you put that into perspective. But as far as, you know, neck down stuff goes, that's, I would say, keep up with the habit, 
just so you know what you're doing, you know, you can be aware of your body, you know, how much pressure you need to apply, stuff like that, so you won't cut yourself in the future. But start to pick up those habits, you know. Learn how your hair, learn how you can style your hair for it to look the best for you. Get into shaping your beard or shaving it all the way down if you have to. And then as far as your body, you know, learn what looks the best for you. Keep your hair tidy. That's the best advice I can give you. At the end of the day, you have to live in your body. So you need to be able to make it something you enjoy. And if that means cutting your hair and styling it up, spiking it, however, go for it. Because it's your body. You should be happy with it. Until next time, y'all try to have a good day.